a lot of these friend groups that you have are cages. A lot of these people talking to you or, you know what I'm saying, telling jokes in your ear, telling you things in your ear is to make sure you stay in the same place because they don't want you to surpass them. All right, y'all. So I'm back with another video. It's storming. It's storming a little bit. So it's not like it's not super bright. But I got to tell y'all what's going on. I got to tell y'all, you know what I'm saying? Insight. I give y'all insight. That's what we're here for. So basically what I'm going to tell you is why your friends hate you why you're on body game, you know what I'm saying? Or why you don't have any friends, why you lose friends when you're on body game, or why you don't have any friends on body game, man. So, man, I need y'all to understand this. This is for like my older guys, my new guys, for younger guys, everybody, man. What I'm gonna tell you is that when you're working on yourself, this goes for body game too, specifically body game. This is a more specific body game, but like, when I tell you, man, when you were working on yourself, bro, friends and family will drop off like flies, bro. Like, I don't know at what point people drop off for you, but you got to watch when it's happening. It, it, starts off, it, it starts off pretty much the same. It's like a pattern, man. And one of the things I noticed when somebody is about to drop off, you know what I'm saying, why you don't have friends, is like, They'll say things like, oh, I see you doing your thing. I see you doing such and such, you know what I'm saying? Whether it be like oh, if you're online or they see you in person or they say, I see you talking to somebody, you know what I'm saying? I see you doing this, you making moves pretty much. As soon as they say that, man, I tell you, that's when everything is fine, is good. Boom. It is just it stops right there, man. You lose so many friends. On body game, and I want to tell you guys is that you know everything in nature, you know, what I mean, is a cycle and it seasons, and that's why I really want to tell you guys is like when you're evolving or when you're changing, when you're becoming a better person, you know, what I'm saying when you're working out into getting to the gym, working on your body, you know, what I'm saying working on something that's going to help you in life in general, it's not popular to do that, you know, what I'm saying a lot, a lot of people tell me like, you know, I'm saying the gym is oversaturated, the fitness market is just so oversaturated, but you guys got to understand that the reason why I was able to switch and everything like that is like the fitness game, fitness community will never go out of style. Being in shape will never go out of style. Being healthy will never go out of style because health is well. But when you practice body game, people will watch you. You know what I'm saying? Please do not let people, friends, everybody, please do not believe that nobody or think that nobody is watching your journey. People are keeping tabs on like everything. You know what I'm saying? What you look like, everything. If anything, they keep the most tabs because they can see you day to day. You know what I'm saying? They can see what you were before, what you are now. But I say all I would say, man, is that when you practice body game, you change the dynamic. You lose friends, you shed friends because you change the dynamic. You change the hierarchy. When you work on yourself or when you change how you were based off of how you were before, you know what I'm saying? But when they met you, you change how people see you and how they perceive you, which is a big deal because you then realize the same person. You know what I'm saying? You don't really like the same things and you can't be controlled mentally. And that is a big thing I want you guys to understand. Like when you're dealing with friends, you're dealing with people, you're dealing with relationships and dating like that. Regardless if you believe it or not, the people you're around have a stronghold and they have a control over you. You know what I'm saying? Just like the patterns, the things they say to you, jokes and things like that. And it's just like when you work yourself and you when you build your body, guess what? A lot of the jokes, if you were fat, they don't work anymore because you're now losing weight. You're more stronger. You're looking better. You know what I'm saying? A lot of the, the power moves people will play on you, it doesn't really work anymore. Or it doesn't hurt or it doesn't take effect because you've now changed that dynamic. You now worked on yourself to where it's like, that doesn't apply to me anymore. It's like jokes really aren't that funny anymore because it's like, well, dang, that's that doesn't apply to me no more. You know what I mean? And it's just like people like to exert power and they like to make themselves look like they're better than other people. And it's just to make themselves feel better. So it's like if you remove that, you know what I'm saying, the source, if you remove the joke, it's almost as if like they have really nothing to talk about that's positive because you don't make them feel good when they can't joke with you. You know what I'm saying? When they can't put the attention on you or make you feel bad or, you know what I'm saying, put themselves higher on a pedestal than you, 
it's like almost like it's no more fun to be around you. You know what I mean? I just want you guys to understand it's like when you're working yourself and you're in the gym and you're focusing, you will lose a lot of people. You will lose a lot of friends just because people realize they can't keep up. They can't keep up and they they will never they will never keep up. And that's like the harsh reality is because you'll spend so much time with people. You will understand like people's patterns, and everything, you know, say you be friends for a long time. But it's just that when you work on yourself and you take time out and you're able to do something that is away from the group, you know, what I'm saying away from the, the dynamic, the family dynamic, the friend dynamic, it's almost as if you're. You're infiltrating the group or you're changing the mentality of the group, because if a person feels like they want to have power over a group, they want to have a power or mental control over a group of people if that one person that is off to the side and saying, well, no, you know, I don't really want to do this. I want to work out. It's almost like, who are you? You know what I'm saying? Why are you, why are you changing what, what we normally do? Why are you changing our patterns? This is uncomfortable. This is new. You know what I mean? And it's just like, you have to understand that mindset is so toxic because that's not a friendship. That's more, or, you know what I'm saying? That's not a group. That's more of a cage because you will be in situations to where people don't see you to do any better than what you're doing right now. They don't see you progressing any further than where you are now. They view you as this and they it's comfortable to see you as that. Anything different just doesn't make sense in their head. So that's what I want you guys to understand is like a lot of these fingers that you have are cages. A lot of these people talking to you or, you know, what I'm saying telling jokes in your ear, telling you things in your ear is to make sure you stay in the same place because they don't want you to surpass them. I want you guys to understand that, like people are constantly judging themselves against you. Whether if you want to or not, people are in secret competition with you and it exposes itself when they feel like they can no longer compete with you or expose yourself when you actually put the work in, you continue to grind, you continue to work and they stop. It's then becoming a competition because now I feel like you're getting ahead of me. It's a crap in a bucket mentality. I got to pull you down now because I feel a type of, I feel a certain type of way. How are you able to change yourself and I'm still in the same position? How are you able to work on yourself, work on your body and I'm still not seeing the results that I want to see? You have to understand also, too, when you're dealing with friends, especially if, you know, people are attractive, you know, some people are into their looks, they're very vain. They pride themselves on how they look. They pride themselves on how they feel. And there's a lot of their security or a lot of their uh, self-esteem is based off how they look. So if they feel threatened by somebody else, you're going to feel it. You're going to see it. You're going to get the backlash for it. Because people put so much attention to how they look and they never really work on the inside that when they see somebody working on themselves, they automatically seem it seems like a threat. You know what I'm saying? It seems unfamiliar. It seems as if, you know, you're trying to take their place. And a lot of people think, you know, if somebody is bigger, they're not as attractive as them. But a lot of times people are bigger. They're more attractive. They're just they just have a little bit more weight. You know what I mean? And people know that. And people are always looking at themselves or how they compare themselves to you. And it's just like, that's not healthy. And you know what I'm saying? You guys will learn. You guys will see. You'll see when you work on yourself, you're doing certain things or you're getting certain jobs or you're getting so like certain career things, career changes. Not everybody can go with you. You know what I'm saying? Not everybody can fit in the boat. And it's like, too, when you try to take people who aren't meant to go, they'll sabotage you. You know what I'm saying? They'll feel a type of way about you. They'll feel a way of how you do things. They'll feel a way of your success. And they will act as if they're helping you out. And whole time they're tearing you down. Whole time they're they're making sure you don't succeed. They're making things, make sure things don't go through. Or you may be talking to somebody and they make sure that it doesn't, it doesn't happen for you. And you, you just have to pay attention to it. You have to be honest. You have to be honest with yourself. You have to be truthful. And you have to understand when you have to cut a snake off. You have to understand a snake does not turn around and get better, become friendly. They become bigger snakes. They shed their skin to become bigger snakes. And that's what I want you guys to understand is a lot of these friend groups that you guys are having. They're not a friend group. It's a cage. They do not want you to surpass and they do not want you to exceed the ceiling. And that's what I want you guys to understand It's like. A lot of these friends are not friends, you know what I'm saying? Or a lot of these friends are only friends with you if you are not doing well. As soon as you start doing better, as soon as you start doing and achieving, you're not friends anymore. You know what I'm saying? You, a lot of these envy will come out. And it's just like, you'll be like, where is this coming from? What is going on? I thought we were so cool. We had a lot of time together. It was like, we were cool, 
when you were below me. But as soon as you start coming up to my level or I feel like you're coming up to my level, it's a problem and I have to tear you down. It's like immediately I have to tear you down. And I just want you guys to understand it's like, um, you know, friends and relationships are important, but never let a relationship stop you from achieving your goals. Never let a relationship stop you from becoming the best version of yourself, becoming the best you can be. Because you never know, you becoming better will inspire others to be better. And you setting a, a, a path can now allow other people to come right behind you. Have an easier life, have an easier time, not work as hard. Um, have a better future, have a better future for their family. It's just like you just never know when you're not operating at your fullest capabilities. When you're not operating at your full potential, it's like you do yourself a disservice and you do everyone else a disservice based off of you staying around the same people who are holding you down, staying around people who you know aren't good for you. And that's what I want you guys to understand, man. It's like, understand if you have a friend group or if you have a cage, man, like that, that's something that is not talked about enough. Look at your friend groups. Look at everybody around you. Are you in a cage or are you in a friend group? And you guys, you know what you're talking about. You know the conversations. You know the jokes. You know the the potential. You know, you know what I'm saying, who's uncomfortable. You know what I'm saying, you know who's insecure. You know these things. It's like, just don't pretend like you don't see that because you guys are smart. You guys are growing and you guys are progressing. But you know what I'm saying, just pay attention to the people who don't, who don't laugh at your jokes, you know what I'm saying, or who don't clap when you win or if something bad or good happens, see who comes around, who see who doesn't. And I, I want you guys to really understand that because I know like a lot of times people are like, okay, attraction, attractive, they can attract this and everything, but they don't know the energy that they're attracted. They don't know what they're manifesting. They don't know the stakes they're around. And it's like sometimes they're, they're always so shocked. They're always so shocked and surprised when things go crazy, but they never take a look in their circle. They never see if it's actually a cage or not. So that's the end of the video, man. I just want to make sure I made it that video. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. I'm out. <laughs>